everyone, it's Karen. Someone in my silhouette group was asking, what is the difference between compound path and grouping? So I'm going to explain that to you. I'm going to take this rectangle. I'm going to make a couple of them. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so that it will fit inside the other one. So when your images are not grouped, you need to select them to move them. That's quite obvious. And if you want to move both of them, you select both of them. You now have a bounding box around both images and you can move them together. As long as you um, click down when you have that hand shape. I'll show you again. You can also create a box around both by dragging. Now, if I hover over my shapes until I have this hand image, then when I click, everything will move. That is grouped without actually grouping them. That's just like a temporary grouping them so that you can move them together. Grouping them, I'm going to select again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to group, means they are now permanently grouped. If you, well, permanently, permanently until you ungroup them. It um, Permanently in that it can be undone. So these two rectangles are now grouped and you can move them wherever you like. When you click one of them, both will be selected because they are grouped. doesn't matter which one you click. Both are selected because they are grouped in the program. So to ungroup, you just right click and ungroup. And then this means that when you click one, one is selected, but you can still create a bounding box around both images, both pieces, or whatever number you want, and temporarily group them. Making a compound path is something different, but it's something different within the program and within what you can do with the image, not so much um, what happens when you cut the image. I'm going to show that to you. Let's say you place one box inside the other. I'm going to assign some colors here because you won't see this unless you have colors. So I'm going to make the one box red and I'll make the other box, which now you can't see the line because of the red, um, the red fill. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to make it green, a dark green. So I'm going to drag the other one back on top of it. Now, if I select everything and I group them, the same thing happens as before. They're grouped. To create a compound path, you select everything, you right click, and you choose make compound path. Now you'll see that there's a hole in here. These cutting lines are within the other rectangle. And you can't ungroup this. It is a compound path. You could then add text into this, into a frame. I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm just going to type two letters. Whoops, it should have been capital, or at least that's what I intended. I'm going to make it large enough that it's going to stretch from here all the way over to here. I can now, because I have a compound path, I can make these so that the A and the B are physically attached to the frame. I'm going to change the color so you can see that. You can see now they're not, phys they're not welded to the frame. If I were to cut this, I will cut a rectangle with another rectangle in the middle, and I will cut two letters. But if I take all of this and I weld it, because it's a compound path, it will weld to the frame. I'm going to undo this and I'm going to show you what happens to this if it's not a compound path. I'm going to release the compound path here. You see that there is a line here. So if you send it to your cutter, those two lines will cut. I've seen people try to weld uh, shapes to circles. 
let's say you have this and it's transparent. We choose transparent here. You take this, the letters, you stretch them out so that they stretch over to the other side. So they are overlapping if you select everything and you weld you end up with this because you don't have a compound path. To be able to weld letters to a circle or whatever shape you want to a circle, you first need to create a compound path. So in this case, I would create an offset. Now having created an offset does not mean you have a compound path. If you select them both and you right click, you don't have a compound path because you're able to make a compound path. So make the compound path. This is now compound. Now bring your letters in. Right click and weld. And you'll see that they weld together. If I take away the color and make that transparent, you'll see that they're welded together. So that is what a compound path allows you to do. Grouping doesn't allow you to do that. All it does is it groups the pieces together so that you can move them together. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching. And please, if you've liked this video, like it and please subscribe to my channel.